a typical science classroom and uh, non-typical uh, equipment right now, but showing the year of years of wear and tear um, in the proposed fixing of the cabinets and make, bringing them up to date for the types of classes that will be instructed here. Obviously, if this is turning into a or six building, we would look at the science aspects. Do we want one science station along the far side? But that will be discussed with the classroom teachers to make sure the design is conducive to the age bracket that would exist here. Um, but once again, you know, notice that we don't have the technology within this uh, room either with a projector on the ceiling. We do have the TV in the corner, um, you know, the cabinetries. And Mrs. Mantle's room across the hall is actually the best one to look at. The flooring were, what is this, linoleum or the square tiles? Vinyl tiles. The vinyl tiles, there we go. The vinyl tiles are cracking, have been replaced. You, you'll see a patchwork pattern where after 35 years some, some of them were coming up. But, you know, cabinetry along the far side, you know, it needs to be repaired, replaced. And once again, like Mr. Kearney mentioned, the windows that you see here, the exterior doors, the window panes are single. Single pane windows. Here's a different style of an overhead unit vent. These are particularly, can be uncomfortable for a room setting because when we go into the motion of uh, bringing in 100% outdoor air, what happens is we blow cold air right down on the back of of kids necks and things of that nature. Um, this one's not ideal uh, for best purpose use. The air is not distributed as equally um, versus the uh, floor mount units. At least they blow the cool air up like this and let them circulate out that way. If you're a kid and you're sitting in this row right here, you have potential to get pretty cold. Yep. Yeah. I'm sure this roll right here probably wears coats right about now. <laughs> Any questions regarding the science classroom? About ceiling tiles? Like for example, this room, uh, based upon all the other tiles in the building, I'm betting these are the original ones. You will see some rooms that have more of a bow or sag where there have been leaks in the past or you know, just humidity is picked up. Uh, if you walk, if we go back toward the auditorium, you'll notice the entrance way. We did re replace some just for the the look and the appeal. Come, welcome to the building. We wanted to get one corridor, just sort of a, a refreshed look. It was a year prior to us painting the entire uh, interior of the building. Some of you would remember that it was sort of a really dark brown. And uh, what was it three years ago? I wanted to see school pride colors, so I made sure it was cardinal red, <laughs> and it was also white. Is that, is that, what's that light. door over there? That is a storage room. So, okay, for example, a private area. it is a private area, but it would be perfect for me to open, and as you walk by, take a look. Um, the type of equipment that Mrs. Jordan uses would, would possibly be different than what a fourth grade or fifth grade teacher would use. So the type of storage that's in here, she already doesn't like, but as we actually change it over to the type of, or the intent of the room, we make sure we put in what is required. And once again, you'll notice an AV cart that's taking up valuable floor space. I can't change the exterior walls, but I can try to change what's rolling around on the floor, whether it's kids or equipment. 